What's up guys, I hope you're all feeling good today. I know I'm feeling good right now because this channel just crossed 10,000 subscribers and I wanna make a video to talk about it because this is a huge milestone. And also it just happened so fast, I can't believe it. I'm still trying to process it. Um, but I, I guess I just wanna say thank you to you guys for watching my videos, for supporting the channel. Um, now the weird thing about this though is 99% of these new subscribers will not even be watching this video. And that's just because of the fact that my channel has only been able to grow this fast and get this many new subscribers like this quickly because, because of the shorts videos that I've been uploading. And it's, it, it's just something I've noticed is that, uh, um, or something I've learned about just the way that YouTube currently works is that, um, if you're gaining a lot of new viewers with shorts, um, there's not a lot, there's not really any, um, crossover, right? So people who watch shorts don't then come to your channel to watch longer format videos or just regular videos. And, um, and so because of that, it, it doesn't feel like I actually have 10,000 subscribers. It feels like an overly inflated number because I'm used to YouTube before we had shorts, before it was even a thing, before TikTok was a thing, you know, and th th that was a, a regular format. Um, so it doesn't feel real, um, but it is. And trust me, I know that it is because um, this is the first time since I've been doing YouTube, which I have, I have another channel, which I started way before this channel uh, that I, you know, I've had it for like almost 10 years now. And Never until this very moment, the past couple of months, never have I ever earned any real revenue that was significant from YouTube. And the past couple of months, um, the amount of views that I've got from these shorts has given me enough, like I, I actually got like a paycheck from YouTube and it was real money. And it's not like enough money to like be able to say YouTube's my job. Trust me, that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> uh, it could happen, but I would have to, um, you know, start up another channel. And I don't know, I would have to do, have to, I have to do something, right? Like uh, the number would have to go up significantly. Right. But, but this is boosting my confidence a lot and it's, uh, it's giving me ideas. It's motivating, motivating me a lot. Um, I just, I just, uh, I, I, again, I can't believe it. So, um, the one thing though about all this is that the, the algorithm is really who I should be thanking right now because, um, you know, just one single short video that I uploaded, it was the one of uh, connections that was, uh, lights, camera and action. Cause those were, those were like a few of the words in that particular puzzle that day. Um, apparently those are lyrics in a famous or a popular like TikTok song or a song that went viral or something. And so that video started getting recommended to people that, you know, listen to that song or whatever, or that people maybe re recognize the lyrics or something. And so maybe that's why they clicked on it and watched it or something. Either way, like the fact that that single video got that much traction because of something completely unrelated to the actual content of me playing the game Connections, um, it did influence the next uploads that I like. So now those people started watching my new connection solves. And I'll be honest, I probably single handedly the past couple of months brought so much traffic to the New York times website with, uh, specifically the, the connections game. Like I probably got so many new people into playing connections. Like it's crazy. Um, and, and yeah, so that's what's going on. But I think that, the YouTube algorithm has a mind of its own and I don't want to touch anything, right? Like right now, like if I mess around with the daily uploads, if I stop doing it, or if I start changing the titles of my videos, like the YouTube alg algorithm could just say, I don't like your videos anymore. And I could start getting zero views. Like I could start, I could, could go back down to getting nothing. Um, so I'm just trying to enjoy this moment while I have it of this relative amount of success. And, um, I wanted, again, I wanted to talk about it. Um, so a couple things I, I want to say though, is that 
if, if you're a YouTube creator, if you're making content, it does seem like this is the direction that YouTube is going in. Shorts are becoming more and more popular. People are watching them and it does translate to revenue. Again, this is the first time since I've been doing YouTube that my videos have actually been, that I've actually, I'm actually getting a, a decent paycheck from YouTube. And the second thing I'll say is that the YouTube algorithm has a mind of its own. And the reality is, is that it, it there's no real, I mean, I guess you could probably dissect it and understand how it works and understand what things are going to trigger it to get a lot of views. And obviously people do that clickbait and whatnot, but at the end of the day, like it doesn't determine how good of a content creator you are. Like there's so many people, like I've been feeling so much like, first of all, satisfaction because I've been doing YouTube for so long and this is the first time where I'm getting any success. I'm like happy, but I'm also feeling that sort of like, gosh, there's so many channels that I, I like watching where people are really, really good content creators, really, really like enjoyable videos. And like, they're not getting the, this amount of, of traction on their, like, it's just, it's, it's not a game that is fair. It's not a game that is, I mean, I guess it's fair. Technically it is, but it doesn't feel right. But then again, you could also go, you, I could also make the argument for myself, which is that I've been, uh, that, that like my content perhaps does deserve more views and it, it's a, it's a weird thing. Anyway, that's not a, that's not the kind of thought process you ever want to get into is like, who deserves what do I deserve this? Like, no, like I just, I just, you just got to feel good about, you know, yourself when you have a moment of success. Right. And, um, I guess the other thing is like, man, like a few months ago, like earlier this past year, like I thought I was having so much difficulty. Like it was just, um, I, I wanted to quit. I mean, I kind of did for a moment and it's just like, all it takes is one moment, right? Success and improvement and growing is not a gradual just increase over time. It's a lot of just staying at the same level, maybe even things getting difficult and you going down a little bit for a while. And then all it takes, you, but the thing is you got to stick with it because eventually one, you know, the way social media works specifically is you get these moments where just one thing just shoots you up into a new level of like success that you like you did. You can't possibly see coming, right? I could not possibly see this coming at all. And... I, I'm just, I, all I can do is just make the most of the opportunity and just say thank you and I appreciate it. And again, 99% of the new viewers are not gonna be watching this video. If you're watching this video, most likely you're somebody that's watched me play Wordle for, for months. Um, and and yeah, I, I wanna say to you specifically, thank you. You know, just thank you for that. Your support has mean has meant a lot to me. Um, and without you guys watching my videos, I probably wouldn't be doing it anymore, you know, but because I have an audience, because people do watch me, um, and I get that support, I keep doing it. Um, so yeah, w for now, I don't want to touch anything. I'm just going to keep doing what's working and see if it continues to work and for how long and make the most of the opportunity, like I said, and then just, just, yeah. So, but yeah, no, this is incredibly, um, like motivating to me to want to make better content, want to make more content, put more time into, into YouTube and, and figuring out what works and what, what people want to watch and, and what I enjoy, you know? So, um, but yeah, so probably should, it probably can wrap up everything that I've been saying so far. So <laughs> should probably just end the video now. Thank you guys so much for everything. I'm very happy. I can't believe this happened. And yeah, these short YouTube shorts, it's a thing. It's crazy. It's, it can just, at any moment, it can just give you so much growth. And, and yeah, even though those viewers might not translate to regular view uh, videos, if you're a YouTube, content creator definitely take advantage of shorts so thank you guys see you guys in my next video have a good one hope you're all feeling good 
Take care.